Well, there's one big dog on campus who has been behind many of the changes that we've seen over the last two years. That's that man, Coach Josh Heupel, in his second year as the Tennessee leader. And boy, does he have him in a good spot so far. I mean, it's just incredible what he's been able to do in two years, two seasons as coach uh, that a lot of other coaches simply weren't able to pull off. So I think he's a welcome sight for so. folks on Rocky Top. And we're learning so much about him his football career basically started when he was in diapers and it just grew from there. A son of a coach, Josh Heupel would then go to the University of Oklahoma where he would turn things for the big Sooner machine in Norman. Our Casey Wheelis caught up with some of the old coaches that you might know about how coach Josh Heupel got to where he is today. It was 1999 in Norman, Oklahoma. Josh Heibel just transferred from junior college and was ready to prove himself at quarterback, hoping to revive a struggling team. But there were a lot of questions. A junior college guy coming in. It was Bob Stoops' first season as head coach. The team would go 7-5. and five. He got kind of kick-started us that first year. Bobby Jack Wright was an assistant coach on Oklahoma staff. Josh was a great, great competitor, a great quarterback, a great thrower of the football. He, he was a gym rat. I mean, he was one of those guys that was going to stay out there late. He would throw routes after practice with all of his receivers. And there'd be nights that I'd be going down the steps about, you know, 1030 at night, quarter 11. And you'd see the lights on on the second floor where the meeting rooms were. And I'd I assumed it was the janitor cleaning. So one night I walked down there because the door was open in the quarterback room. And there's Josh all by himself watching tape. Before his time at Kansas, Mark Mangino took over as Oklahoma's offensive coordinator in 2000. When he came in, you know, he, he proved right away that he belonged and he could make plays on a high level. And uh, he was unselfish. A leader on and off the field, Heupel would guide his team to a national championship, earning a Heisman nomination himself. Never potted about being corrected or anything. He took it as fuel to just get better. A young Josh Heupel hoping to make his team better then at Oklahoma. And now as a coach doing that same thing at Tennessee. Uh, I think he was born a coach. You know, his, uh, he's a son of a coach. And I think from the time he was in diapers, he was around football. And the thing I love watching uh, Tennessee while Josh is, is leading that team is you see all the things that, that he probably learned as a player and then the things that, that he's picked up along the way uh, that he's added to his repertoire. All right, Coach Mark Mangino, one of my favorite coaches really of all time, former University of Kansas coach, took him to the Orange Bowl, said he is rooting for Coach Heupel and the uh, Vols today, but some defensive guys on the Bama side were some of his coaches. So he said he's right down the middle, but I think he's leaning towards the Vols. Yeah. I mean, we think about him as a coach. He started early himself. Oh, yeah. Looks like he may be doing that with his own children. Kind of a game day tradition where we see Coach Heupel throwing footballs to his own kids and sometimes other people as well who get into the mix <laughs> while they're on the field. So this is one of the things that we have um, seen him do over and over again. And it's fun to see because, you know, we like to think that they're human, you know, a guy that I can relate to and he's just out there having fun with his kids. So yeah. um, that's something we love to see. And it is a tradition that we, we hope continues. It's really cool to see that and actually a coach actually get involved. You know, you hear a lot about coaches being locked up late at night into the film studies, missing birthdays, missing things like that. So it is incredible to see him taking some time, throwing around the rock with his kids. And look, the son of a coach, I bet he did this with his dad back in the day, right. carrying on that tradition. And so what a it. great experience for those kids to, to have that moment yes. with their dad and that memory as well. So very cool. Hopefully it will continue again today. I hope so as well.